Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. Leaked info is indicating that BlackRock has already billions of dollars waiting to buy their Bitcoin ETFs. What does this mean? How could that affect the price of Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market? And multiple indications are telling us that all the applications are done. There's no more corrections. Everything signed, sealed, and delivered. But there is still a lot of fake news out there. So we need to be very, very careful. We're going to talk about all these things that are happening. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile. To send out the good, good vibes. Good vibes will help, will help the Bitcoin ETF uh, get approved. I'm telling you. <laughs> Think positive and positive things will happen. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you want some more uh, Bitcoin updates. And let's get into it. So. Currently, the price of Bitcoin is at 44,000. Uh, it got last night up to the resistance level at 44,732. The green level bounced all the way down to the support level, uh, but now has been in the past 12, 14 hours between these two levels. It will be interesting to see going into the weekend uh, what will happen here because it seems it's, it's uh, one o'clock my time. So take, uh, you know, it's about, uh, what is it, six or seven, I think, in the U.S. It's not going to come today, right? The day's already over. Uh, and now Saturday, Sunday, it's not going to happen. So the only uh, time frame that it could happen was is Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, right? Wednesday is the last day, the 10th. Um, so I think they'll just let it go all the way to the 10th and wait and see what's going to happen now they're not going in my opinion they're not going to have a situation where they approve um th that they you know approve one and then approve another one the next day because the deadline for most of them is in march right the deadline the january 10th was for arc and uh, grayscale but if they do that and they only approve those two right then the competitive um what's the word um like they, they those two would have a monopoly on the clients right because people would just flow to the first ones so i think they're just going to give everybody approval or decline right we don't know yet <laughs> um all together and so that that's going to be interesting to see uh what happens now we got update uh that vanek which is one of them that is uh doing this the bitcoin etf says we're not bitcoin tourists at vanek we're in it for the long haul. That's why we made an initial $10,000 donation and signed a pledge to donate 5% of our Bitcoin ETF profits, if approved, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's very important that they added that, to support Bitcoin core devs for at least 10 years. Your tireless dedication to decentralization and innovation is the cornerstone of the Bitcoin ecosystem, and we are here to support it. More details to come. They wouldn't be coming out with these kinds of statements, with the commercials, with all the things that are coming out, right? If they weren't pretty sure that it's going to pass. Again, there's a very low probability. I'll be surprised if it happens. The whole market is is feeling. Although I think that because of what happened two days ago, uh, the market is a little bit afraid, right? That there is some, like, even if there's a slither of a chance that, that uh, it's going not to be approved, that's why I think the market is stuck because people are like on the fence. Should I go in? Should I not go in? And a lot of people got shooken out from those uh, stop losses and liquidations. So it's very interesting uh, to see what will happen uh, there. Now, something that caught my eye here, right? And this is basically leaked information because this is, if it's true, right? Uh, Justin, sources tell Van X, Matthew Siegel, that BlackRock has $2 billion of capital linked up from existing Bitcoin holders that want to rotate into spot Bitcoin ETFs after approval. This is very interesting, right? Um, on the one hand, right, this is very big because, okay, we already have $2 billion ready to buy their ETF. 
But what's interesting here, and even Eric said here, this caught me at attention too. I hadn't heard of this, but it would be on brand for BlackRock. They lined up an injection, big cash into new ETFs on first day of trading. So it registers as volume flows. If it's true, 2 billion would blow away all first day week volume uh, records for an ETF, right? Uh, now, if this actually happens, you know, it's going to be massive. Think, think about it, right? They will, they need, uh, the Bitcoin to back that, but it's kind of weird. Why would existing Bitcoin holders rotate into the ETF, right? Why would people sell their actual Bitcoin to buy an ETF? Well, you might say, well, it could be big institutions that uh, bought Bitcoin and now are afraid that they have to hold them meaning they have to have the wallets, they may be afraid that they get hacked and things like that. They buy the Bitcoin ETF, it's one, hopefully run right, one-to-one -one with the price of Bitcoin, and they don't have to worry about all that. That's the only thing I could think of, why would they want to do that? Maybe also if it's through the Bitcoin ETF, you know, more oversight, and then they could, for example, there's a big institution that has a massive amount of Bitcoin. And they go to a bank and they say, hey, uh, I want to take out a loan on this uh, Bitcoin position because I want to go invest in something else. But I don't want to sell the Bitcoin, of course. So give me a loan. A lot of the banks will say no. But if they come and they say, hey, I have this uh, ETF. It's a BlackRock ETF, right? Give me a loan. And they'll be like, oh, it's a BlackRock ETF? Uh, okay, we, we trust BlackRock, right? And so then they would give them the money. That's also something that I thought about that might be a reason why $2 billion would rotate out of actual holding Bitcoin into an ETF, right? Now, we also got news here uh, that according to uh, Bloomberg, ETF applicants clear key hurdles on path to SEC sign-off. And we are seeing that many of them, it's not just BlackRock, but they have... Uh, file this ETF 19B4 filing, right? NASDAQ files a men in for BlackRock. It was also for Fidelity and all the others. This is a big step, according to the Bloomberg analyst. It seems like there's the, all the hurdles that needed to uh, happen. The SEC has no more feedback on Bitcoin ETFs, approval on the way. So if there's no more feedback, that means that if you think about it, right? No feedback means that they're happy with everything that they have filed right if there was still feedback like i've never had something in my life that i had to put in a specific uh, uh form and the i was going back and forth and then they said okay no more feedback and then they rejected it right that that doesn't happen um so it would be very very weird and listen it can happen again i i'm emphasizing that because we don't know what the sec is thinking we don't know what Gary Gensler is thinking. Um, you know, everybody is 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 up in arms, but that just frightens me a little bit. Like I have that, you know, angel, on, you could call it a devil, <laughs> uh, behind my head saying like, be just a little bit careful, right? You don't want to get caught with your pants down, right? I have a plan in place. I know what I'm going to be doing if it gets rejected. Uh, do you know what you're going to do if it gets rejected? That's something that you have to sit and think about and see if it's, you know, a possibility that you want to do. Listen, uh, you can you can trade it. <laughs> you can have stop losses uh, if you have money on exchanges. If you're looking for an exchange to trade on, our partner Bybit gives you that opportunity. And if you do use my link in the description down below, you'll get an extra $500 of Dogecoin, which you can trade. Uh, and if you make money off that $500, you get to keep it. If you lose the $500, no harm, no foul. So it's basically free money. Uh, link is in the description down below. Please trade responsibly. Um, and remember that these exchanges are not savings accounts, they're not bank accounts. Uh, and it's uh, only if you live outside the U.S. So I'm sorry to all the U.S. Uh, people, um, but um, I ha I'm get working on another affiliate uh, for for the next few days. I'll, I'll get it up. There's something happening, and I don't really like it, but it's part of crypto and it's part of of the crypto universe, right? The fact that uh, Bitcoin and the whole market uh, tanked two days ago was on that scare rumor uh, that said that the Bitcoin ETF would not be approved. Now, there has been this phenomenon around Twitter in the past day or so where people are, big crypto people are 
tweeting out false information, right? Uh, and it all started out with Mario, and Mario, I blocked him a while back because he was just writing terrible things. Uh, but <laughs> he said here, multiple Bitcoin spiders uh, will be approved as early as tomorrow, according to multiple sources. And then Tyler here, which is also has a lot of uh, people on YouTube, said breaking multiple Bitcoin spot yes to be approved as early tomorrow. And again, Wendy O and Tyler again, and this guy, Kong Trading, and this guy, Crypto like Mo, and they're all retreating, uh, re retreating um, false information. And I don't know if this is uh, on purpose. I think it's on purpose to make the algos uh, confused and start buying. <laughs> um, but just be careful. Right. Be careful on what you do, on who you listen to, what news you you go on. Uh, even I reported a few days ago on the fact that Jim Cramer became bullish on Bitcoin and that uh, it, that meant that the bull market was over and a day later everything fell. <laughs> right. Uh, but now there's this fake picture of the SEC will reject the Bitcoin ETFs and crypto will never see all times highs again. So somebody's trying to do a, a re reverse on reverse, right? <laughs> uh, and made a fake tweet by Jim Cramer to make people think that uh, he's now negative on the market and then the market would go up. Um, be careful uh, out there. There's going to be a lot of false narratives. There's going to be a lot of fake news. Uh, and again, don't FOMO into stuff. Be careful. Be calm, cool, and collected. Have a plan in place for the next week because it's going to kick off, right? And don't say, I didn't tell you, right? <laughs> um, I don't know which way it's going to go. I do not know, right? But if you are ready, then you can make money both ways and you'll have all the tools in front of you to do so and that's the most important thing i still think that even if it gets rejected it doesn't really matter you zoom out uh, long term on cryptocurrency right uh, the four-year cycle was going to happen with or without the bitcoin etf the bitcoin etf is just the cherry uh, on top of the sunday right it's just an, another addition to what could potentially happen here so if it happens or not um, I'm not changing the course of my investment strategy. So it's going to be very interesting to see where all of this plays out. Don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the links in the description down below and subscribe to the channel if you happen to. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.